What's up, guys? Welcome back to another exciting Apex Legends video. Today, we're going to break down all the Legend patch notes and changes coming to Apex Legends Season 8 with the new Chaos Theory event. Let's hop right into it. Let's go, baby. But, and then of course you got all your stuff. Legend updates, guys. Legend updates. Caustic. Caustic is getting a nerf. His gas grenade cooled down from two, two and a half minutes to three and a half minutes. Gas damage at a flat rate of five HP per tick is now ramping up. Wait, 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 hold up. Knox gas damages at a flat rate of 5 per tick instead of ramping up from 6 to 12. So it's a flat 5 no matter what. It doesn't ramp up. Dev note, Caustic is brutally effective at slowing down engagements. The entirety of his kit revolves around gas with a large area of effect, slow vision obstruction, and direct health damage. It's proven to be impressive in too many scenarios, especially considering teammates can play in gas relatively unimpaired significantly reducing gas damage without taking away completely or having uh having it affect armor instead seems like a fair compromise that stays true to the character while making him less oppressive on the receiving end when we'll monitoring data closely um if these changes hit caustic's appeal or effectiveness too hard we'll revisit accordingly so essentially caustic's too op he's been the best legend in the game um for almost two seasons now so we saw this coming this is nuts though this, this isn't too big of a deal. This is the big deal. Because this is this is not only his ultimate, but this is also... My dogs are going nuts. This is not only his ultimate, but this is also his regular gas traps. So this is just across the board. Five damage per tick. So you're going to be more inclined to be able to push um, Caustic teams. So, All right, now let's look at Pathfinder. Pathfinder removed low profile. So dev note, low profile has been used as a balancing tool for both mobile and small legends. Although Path is still mobile, his hitbox is large. With his overall win rate and encounter win rate is by no means low, it's hard to justify keeping low profile on a hitbox of his size. Much needed. Shout out to the devs for fixing Pathfinder. He's actually going to be relevant again. Um, he's been like middle of the pack since they really like nerfed the crap out of him. So this is a really, really nice fix guys i really do enjoy seeing this this is great for pathfinder gibby remove 15 percent faster heal item while in dormant perfection yeah you didn't see that coming you didn't see this coming so let me tell you guys now now gibby is absolutely nothing now i mean well he's not nothing i'm not going to say that but he has taken a huge nerf Removing 15% faster heal item inside dome is huge on top of adding these heat shields, which is essentially his dome. And then you have, so the only thing he has in his dome is now the ability to res faster. That's it. So really what you're looking at is do we take Gibby or do we make sure that all three of our teammates have a heat shield on our team? Hate to see this for Gibby. He's been one of the best legends in the game, and I don't think he's ever been too overpowered ever. So, hate to see that. Horizon increased black hole cooldown from two to three minutes. That's probably necessary. I'm a, I'm a Horizon main now uh, since season seven since she came out, and this is probably a must because she gets her black hole way too often, and it's actually really powerful, and it makes her win rate way too high. Revenant, let's see. Revenant Silence now disables Mirage Cloaked Revive and Respawn, as well as Octane Swift Med. Okay, irrelevant. Watson now has Passive Shield reget Regen at 0.5 HP, half of Octane's current health regen rate. So Watson can regain her own shields. That's actually really sweet. Guys, we might have a shift in the meta where Watson takes Caustic's spot. Because if she can heal her own shields on top of her ultimate, which regen shields, I mean, uh, we might see Watson back in the mix, guys. 
Rampart, explosive damage, amp covered normally instead of inflicting 200 damage. Uh, explosive shield damage, explosive damage, Sheila normally instead of inflicting 100. Okay. Walls should be beefy and powerful once built before Rampart shipped. We are worried that her nests would be too oppressive. So we gave enemy players the option to quickly clear them out with grenades. This wasn't necessary as it turns out. So we're removing increased damage from grenades against the amp cover and Sheila. Well, I mean, that's kind of cool, I guess. But Rampart is still a bad legend in the game. So, all right. Weapon update. All gold ARs and LMGs default optics updated. Uh, wait. All gold AR and LMGs have two times bruiser now. Okay, that's cool. Massive pellet damage decreased from 13 to 11. Fire rate is an increase from 1.0 to 1.1. The goal of these changes are to place this weapon's identity between the fast fire rate EVA 8 and the heavy hitting Peacekeeper. The Massive has consistently been dominating in close quarters combat, which it has. And it's given and it's forgiving spread pattern and high damage spikes with each shot. This change reduces that high damage potential in order to limit the amount of two pumps players experience on the receiving end. I mean, I don't know how much difference this two damage is going to make per pellet, but and an increased fire rate. So now is we're going to have to test it and see if it's better than the EVA 8 when that happens. But I do like seeing this. We're going to have to run the numbers, guys. But I do like seeing this because the massive literally does two pump people. And it's insane. So uh, wingman, one bullet to every magazine, including base. Okay. Hemlock, increased hip fire spread. The burst damage from the hip fire was a little too consistent for the AR and at medium range. Uh, okay, Hemlock is still powerful even with this because now the hip fire spread is kind of like the Spitfire and the Spitfire's hip fire spread is absolutely insane. So, but I would almost skip the Hemlock and just use the flatline guys, but then you got quality of life changes uh we've done in the past loot across the map maintaining the amount of loot after Mirage Voyage has flown away. So, lock weapon optics. Ooh, here we go for guns with fully locked attachments, fully gold weapons. You can now remove the optic and replace it with a different sight. This does not apply to, to the Kraber. This we've been wanting for a long time, guys. So now you can swap out like, oh, crap, I don't like the R301 with a 1x2. I'd rather use a hollow or I'd rather use a bruiser, etc. Now you can swap that out. Absolutely insane. Assists have been added to the game, to the in-game HUD next to kills. We This was already presented in rank, but it now has been added to unranked. Assists still don't contribute to XP, but... Okay, so you can just see that you are contributing to the match. Okay. And assist of Nox have been added to your squad's banners to show at the end of the match. Oh, that's cool. So you guys can see, like, what exactly you're doing. A lot of basis on how well a teammate is doing is just all damage-based. Like, if a player is not doing a lot of damage, then they're not doing a whole lot in the fight. But now you can see everything. Club names now appear. Don't care about that. Items no longer stick to crafting uh, replicator when dropped on the replicator. Okay, that's good. Badge progress. Uh, for badges that have longer amounts of progress, hovering over the badge will show you how far you have to go, which is nice. I think they already did that, but uh, now you can ping your death box, gold backpack. Players being revived with gold backpack will have a crackle of energy based on the tier of their, their wear. While reviving is taking place, they will also display the armor heal sound effects when the revive is finished. This sh change should help players prioritize pushing a revive in progress. Uh, I seriously doubt that, but I don't see if, if somebody's reviving somebody, you're going to push and kill these people. Anyway, if I see this little purple glow, I'm not going to be like, Oh crap. I better not, you know, attack this person, resing this person and they don't see me coming. So I don't, I mean, this is kind of cool, but I don't think it's going to affect the game. Um, and then bug fixes. Uh, so yeah, just bugs that happen guys. So that is all of the changes coming to the legends guys. So this event is going to be really insane. I think overall, a lot of this stuff is really good. It's going to shake up the meta. I'm really disappointed in what's going on for, um, Gibby. I'm really disappointed in what's going on with, uh, like, I mean, Gibby and, and like the stuff to caustic is really important. 
But the stuff to Pathfinder is good. But the stuff to Gibby, man, they just... Oh, man, they really just hit him hard for no reason. But the Watson stuff I'm very excited about because I was a Watson main guy from Season 2 to 4. So uh, I'm really excited about that. But overall, these changes I think are going to be for the best. Uh, the new heirloom looks cool, although it, I wish it wasn't a knife. Um, the new event is going to seem cool, but these dome shields and stuff and, and this... It's it's gonna be really exciting. I'm just I'm so fixated on them hurting Gibby, um, that it's gonna, it's it sucks. It kind of just like takes him out of the match when you can have three dome shields in a row. So, but that's gonna do it, guys, uh, for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed today's video with the live reaction and talking about the patch notes, please drop a like, slap that like button, and if you guys want more Apex Legends tips and tricks videos to improve your gameplay, guys, be sure to consider subscribing and for me warlog as always stay gaming and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace